Good afternoon, welcome back to the One Marine channel, YouTube channel. So today, it's again, it's Social Media Fridays for us here. So I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of this Princess V40 we have for sale. She is in fantastic condition for her age. And also, there's a little bit of uh, good information I wanna tell you about the engine's drives. So enough of me talking on camera, let's turn you around and let's go and have a look around. So as I said, um, she's in great condition. And before I jump inside, let's just have a look on the outside of this boat and just give you an idea of the quality and the shine on the gel. It really is in great condition. It's owned by a couple of local people and they really do look after it. We've also got to remember, we're looking at boats now in mid-January. So it's probably the worst time of the year for boats to, um, to be in their best condition. Just stepping on here now, got a nice teak platform. You can see it's all in good condition. It's just nice and clean. What I like about these boats is just all nice and clean, nice and tidy. And I think that's always a really good start. So jumping into the um, cockpit, and as you can see, there's loads of seating here. Sorry, that's just a gate. Right here, lots and lots of seating. So you've got a wide wraparound seating section there. And there's the opportunity to put a table there. So you can imagine the days at the beach, uh, anchored off, relaxing, you can put the uh, table in there to make that a really usable area. On the port side here, we've got a little wet bar, so you can see in there you've got sink, and then underneath here, you've got a fridge as well. So that's a really nice feature, makes it really usable. And here you've just got a bit of storage, you can fuel taps in there. Um, so all very, very easy and nicely done. I love that, it's actually really good storage space. So you can see there you've got your legs for the table um, in there, and again, nice little bit of storage. Port side seating area group, so quite comfortable. You can imagine here, if you're sort of entertaining, you can have a group of friends out here, and then another group of friends down there. And then you still got your, your um, helm seat, which is easily room for two. What I wanted to get across in this boat is just the number of little updates has been. So you can see here, immediately got updated nav gear, updated um, dash panel, and it all feels really neat and tidy. It's just really nice. It's not been messed around with. The boat feels very original, which I like. See here, there, the dial set up. And I'll just pan you back round there, just so you can see just how big this cockpit is. And that's what really sets these V40s apart, I think, is just the amount of room in here. Covers are all in great condition. So you can see that, no mold, no mildew. Uh, colleague Nathan and I actually help you only put these covers on and they go on really well, actually. They're, they're nice to put on, they're not a big issue. Just jump down now into the stairs. We've got carpeted stairs coming down to the saloon. And this is as we found the boat. So once again, just gives you an idea of just how this boat's left. We've got dehumidifier running in the galley, which this time of year is always a good sign to see. We've got all the original switch gear there, princess switch gear. And then down here, you've got the Eversparker. So this has actually got the, the, the hydronic system. Um, Google it, give you a bit more info, but it's a really, really up, to, up together system. CD player, as you'd expect. You've got a gas hob. You've also got a um, gas oven there. Left things in here like all the Princess dress cabinets are really nice. And the veneer is in all in really nice condition. So often these are areas you get to see that are marked, but you can see here it's all in really nice condition. Um, nice lower saloon seating area, again with a nice veneer table. Um, nice bit of storage there above the table as well. I'll take you forward into the cabin. Now look at that, nicely presented. The owners are sensible. They know, you know how it should be presented, which is all very nice. Um, Got plenty of walking there, plenty of storage in there, and again, storage around the top there. It's an ensuite arrangement with the heads. Sorry, I just turn the light on in there. Use this. In fact, I'll show you through the other way. A bit more weight access. Just come back through into here now. Sorry, couldn't find the light switch then, but of course, it's tapped up on the ceiling. But good size ensuite. You've actually got a completely separate walk in shower area there which is good stops the whole bar from getting wet and then all very clean and tidy take you into the aft cabin now so there's a few cushions and bits and pieces in here just turn the lights on though and that's a really good size double so you can see there if you have got guests on board it's a really nice setup and then here you've got a sink as well so if you've got guests on board i always joke but cleaning teeth in the evenings and worse um you just use that it's nice wash your hands wash your face whatever just going to take you back up now into the cockpit. Like magic, my esteemed colleague has lifted the engine hatch. Look at that. And then you can see in there, this is what I want to talk to you about. So you can see those CAD engines don't look like normal CAD engines because they're nice and clean. 
Now, both of these engines have recently been out of water and the owner has spent in the region of around £30,000 on the engines and drives. And I think what that does, it just really helps to set this boat apart from others you might find on the market. There's literally lovely clean bilge, invoices are available for all the work that's been carried out. And I, I think it's really important that boats of this age, yes, it's a great boat and there will be others out on the market, and perhaps even less, but where this boat really does excel is just in the level of engineering that's been put into this boat recently. Been done by a local engineering firm in the area who've got a good reputation, all done properly with the right parts, etc. We've been out on this boat um, with the owner and it is so smooth, you can just tell it's right, it feels right. Um, great access into the engine bay as well. Also nice just to see a tube heater in there this time of year, keeping it all up together. And it's good easy access in there. And then you've also got another huge storage space in there and there's an outboard bracket in there. So if you've got an outboard, very easy just to stick it in there so it's out of the way. So all in all, a very nice up together boat. She's for sale on onemarine.co.uk. So please do go and visit our website. If you're watching this video, don't forget to subscribe. We're really trying hard this year to increase our level of subscribers and also traffic to our website. So please do give us a chance, go and have a look at our website. If you've got a boat for sale and you'd like us to talk about getting it sold for you, we'd love to have the opportunity to sell your boat. So please do make contact with us. And if you need any questions on this boat answered, please get in touch. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe using the button below, above, wherever it might be. And uh, we look forward to you watching our next video soon. Thank you.